Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing question number eight, CRD's custom resource definition. Okay, so the question says we have to create a list of all cert managers, CRDs and save it to a file. Make sure kubectl uses default output and use kubectl to list CRDs. Perfect, and after that, we have to extract the documentation for the subject specification field of the CRD and save it to the subject file. So you may use any output format that kubectl supports. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this. The command for this one is gonna be um, a little bit long, but I recommend you guys just to um, learn this command. So it's gonna be kubectl get CRD. We're gonna do, we're gonna use the command grab. So it's gonna be cert manager and after that this is the most important part basically so we're gonna use the awk and we're gonna print so this is basically to get the list of a yaml file of all the crds that we have in the cluster so for the people that don't know what crds are crds allows you to define custom resources and defining CRD's object creates a new custom resource with a name and schema that you specify. So Kubernetes API serves a handle, the storage of your custom resource, and the name of the CRD itself must be a valid DNS subdomain name. Okay, so this is the command. So we're gonna specify last minus O YAML, and then we have to redirect this output to the file that we wanna save it to. So it's gonna be resources.yaml, so let's put it right here resources.yaml and now let's go ahead and enter so everything worked perfectly fine so now we're gonna use the command cat so we can see the content that is stored in that file as you can see it says no such file directory because i'm typing wrong looks like i don't know how to write okay so here we got it this will be the content, so everything's perfect. Now let's go ahead with the second command so we can extract the documentation for the subject aspect of the certificate. This command is more simple. It's only kubectl or k explain. Now we're gonna do certificate and dot spec dot subject. Okay, and we have to redirect this to the subject that yaml file perfect so now let's go ahead and see the content that is in that file and as you can see everything is perfectly fine we have the output stored in subject.yaml and we have the list of the cert managers yaml file in the resources.yaml so that will be it for this video guys thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one